Okay. Welcome to our lecture online and now let's talk about the physical capacitor. How do we come up with the equation that tells us what the capacitance is of a capacitor? And the most simple capacitor would be what we call a parallel plate capacitor. Imagine two metal plates close together and you put charge on one plate. So usually what you do is you put on a potential difference across them, uh, maybe using a battery. So let's draw that. So here's a battery providing a certain amount of voltage, which then pushes charges onto one side of the capacitor, on this capacitor plate, and then pushes the positive charges away, making this side negative. And so there'll be a certain amount of charge Q collected on the capacitor plates. The plates have an area A. They're separated by distance D, and there will be an electric field within the plates. Now, if you remember back, when you calculated the electric field from an infinite plane of charge right here. Here's a representation. Of course, I didn't draw it to be infinite, but imagine the, pl the plane to be infinite with charge, and that the charge density of that plane is equal to uh, sigma. Sigma represents charge per, per unit area. And so here, the electric field, therefore, would be the charge density divided by epsilon sub naught in the Rayleigh outward direction, which means electric field inside here will be a function of how dense the charge is on one of the plates, and of course epsilon sub naught, which means that there is no dielectric inside there, there's simply air or vacuum inside the plates. So what we can say is that the electric field inside then would be equal to that. So the strength of the electric field is equal to the charge density divided by epsilon sub naught, and since the charge density is equal to Q over A, we can write this as such. Now, the general definition of capacitance for capacitors is how much charge you can put onto a capacitor as a function of how much voltage you have applied to the capacitor. If you put more volts across a the capacitor, there's more of a push to get more charge on it. For example, the equation is capacitance is equal to the ratio of the charge placed on a capacitor when a certain voltage is applied. What do you think is going to happen when you double the voltage? Twice the push, you'll get twice the charge. So therefore, that ratio for a particular capacitor will always be a constant. Double the voltage, double the charge, triple the voltage, triple the charge. The ratio will always be C, specific for that capacitor. But how do we find the capacitance of a capacitor as a function of its physical dimensions? Well, here we have to find a relationship between the electric field and, and the voltage. We know that the electric field can be defined as the difference of the voltage between the two plates divided by the distance between them. So here we know that the strength of the electric field is also a function of what the potential difference is divided by the distance between them because we know that V is equal to E times D. Of course that's only correct if we have a constant electric field and in the case of capacitor plates when they're side by side like that we're dealing with a constant electric field so this is correct in this particular case. We'll look at some other examples where that will not be the case and we'll have to handle it a little bit different then of course. Okay now how can we combine those two, all those combined? Well first of all we can replace V by E times D, so let's do that. So C is equal to Q divided by the electric field strength times D and the electric field strength can be replaced by Q divided by epsilon sub naught times A. So this can be written as Q divided by E, which is going to be written as Q divided by epsilon sub naught times A. So now we have Q, we have A replaced, we still need the D over there, which is the D right there. Now let's put A sub naught times A in the numerator, so this is Q times epsilon sub naught times the area divided by Q times D, and then the Q's cancel out, and so finally we can see that for a physical capacitor that has surface area A on the plates, and where the plates are separated by distance d between them, we can then say that the capacitance is equal to epsilon sub naught times the ratio of the area of the plates divided by the distance between them. Now that's only true for a capacitor where the plates are side by side, where you have rectangular plates of area A separated by distance d, where there's no dielectric in between. When there's dielectric, then something's going to change about the epsilon sub naught, but right now that would be the physical capacitance. So all we had to do is figure out the electric field as a function of a charge on a plate. We consider that to be infinitely large plate because when two plates are close together, the distance compared to the size is very large, so it acts like an infinite plane sheet of, of charge. Then we realize that the charge density is charge divided by unit area, so we now have an expression for the electric field in terms of the charge and area of the plates. 
we have the definition of the capacitance, which is simply the ratio of charge divided by voltage. We replace the charge. No, we don't replace the charge. I'm sorry. We replace the voltage by what it is in terms of E and D. And now we replace E in terms of what the electric field is between the plates. And out pops the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. And that's how we do that.